Hey guys, Andrew Edwards here. We're at ETS Lindgren in uh, Cedar Park. Are we in Cedar Park? Yes, we're in Cedar Park, Texas. Cedar Park, Texas. Um, and we're going to do a quick test. Um, what they do here is they test uh, antennas for cell phones. This is an iPhone 4. We're going to put this inside of a uh, element case. Um, we've, seen, we've seen us write about that before. We're going to test it because the rumor is you put that case on your iPhone 4 and it kills your signal. It's kind of ridiculous, especially at 80 bucks for a case. But let's see if that's true. So we're going to use this here and, and a coax chamber um, to test the uh, antenna and then we'll get back to you with some results. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to do a test on the iPhone 4 with the Element Vapor 4 case that unfortunately kills the signal or has appeared to kill the signal on every iPhone that it's been put on in my testing and also in two of my editors' testing. So what we want to do is scientifically test and see whether it actually affects the antenna or not. In a, in one of these an anechoic, anechoic, anechoic chambers. So wrap, yeah, check it out right behind us. And a cold chamber. Setting it up for what we would refer to as a free space test, which is phone only without any impact from the head or hands or anything else. Okay. So we're going to get a reference measurement that says how the phone performs by itself, and then we're going to do a measurement with the case with on the case. it and see what happens. Okay. On here. So what you're seeing is you're actually seeing each one of the sensors in the system as we take a full cut around the device. So this display is actually representing the active position of each antenna and if you watch on the spectrum analyzer you can actually see what's happening uh, as a function of time so as that sweeps around the circle you can see essentially the pattern information being recorded by the analyzer okay we transfer that all back to the pc and process it and convert it into position information so what we're really going to care about are the numbers at the end and we're going to compare these numbers to the numbers that we get once we put the cover on. Are these numbers good? Mm. Can't say whether oh, they're can. good or bad. Right. Okay, 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 that's right. <laughs> they're, they're numbers. They are, they are numbers. 100%. For our, for our intended yes, purposes, they're 100%. 100%. That's 100%. Okay, that, that's what we want. That's uh, our benchmark. We tested without the case, and now, obviously, we're affixing the case to the outside. Again, elementcase.com, if you're interested, is the vapor case. Um, but the results may, may not want, you may not want to get one depending on what happens here. This takes a while. Once the case is on there, you can't get it off without this little tool. So, you go on a little road trip and you, something happens to your phone and you need to get it replaced, you're out of luck. That's all I'm saying. That's just one, yeah. We got one screw in out of four. <laughs> all right, so we got the case on there. Um, you can see there, you have a, a cutout for the SIM card. There's the phone. The case looks nice, it looks great, um, but if you actually can't make a call, you see the uh, no service. Um, if you can't make a call, yeah. Uh, yeah. So we put the case on there, and now it says no service. I mean, that's that's a little that's a little weird, but we're gonna test it anyway. Let's test it. Put it in the. Uh, again? Anechoic chamber. It's not as many bars as it had before, definitely. So we're gonna go ahead and make the call. Now, what is that? Uh, Basically, when you're doing a, a uh, test base station, uh, just any three numbers and dial and it will connect. So we're, oh, okay. we're dialing in to the tester uh, and then we're going to run the exact same test we just ran. Mm -hmm. And compare the numbers. And compare the numbers. Right. I'm trying to get a fast test on a known good device. So I'm going to run through and get the data as fast as I can. Well, what we're running into is the fact that we're falling below the noise floor of the instrumentation with this, the signals already so low that in order to be able to accurately measure it, I'm going to have to slow the test down and actually take more data and take a longer test time in order to even be able to get it through a complete test because I can't run it in this high-speed mode. Now, is that because of the case? And that's because of the, case? Because, of the case? That's because of the case. And you'll be able to see immediately on the instrument just how much lower the signal appears than it did last time. So here we're reinitializing the test, and there's the signal, and so, okay, that's okay. We changed to the other polarization, and what's happening is, is we're falling down into the noise floor of the instrument at this point. Real world, like, explanation here. Are you saying that the case... The case is definitely 
causing an impact. I can't tell negative you the exact impact. negative impact. Okay. I can't tell you the exact number until we do a complete test. Okay, so we've got the results of the iPhone. You had to do the second uh, slower test. And what did you find? I'm going to let you make your own call. I'm just going to put the two sets of data side by side. Okay. And the number, remember, that the manufacturers look at is what's referred to as total radiated power. Okay. So this was without the case, the normal foam. This is with the case. Now, which one do you want? Do you want it to be higher? You want that higher number, I'm assuming. Bigger numbers are better. Bigger numbers are better. Bigger numbers case. are better. And we're, I'm just going to say my unofficial, because uh, I don't work here, 26 is a larger number than 7. 3 dB oh, is half the yeah. power. Oh, wow. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. what? <laughs> 3, 3 dB is half the power. So Another 3 dB is half of that. The next 3 dB is half of that. Because we're so talking we're, about so logarithmic right. power. You're telling me that this is like one-tenth of the... <laughs> That sounds well, a little more reasonable. Wow. To get the same level of performance, a carrier would have to put their towers about 10 times closer together. So, <laughs> so, oh. it's 10x, so it's a 10x reduction? All right, so thanks to the folks at ETS Lingra, we actually finished the, uh, the test of the iPhone 4 with the Element Vapor 4 case on there. Um, and the conclusion is basically that with this case on the phone, you lose 99% of your signal. 20 dB. You lose 20 dB, which means 99%. So basically, you take the case off, and your antenna performs 99% better than with it on. Um, and the, no. the cost is 100, 100 times better than, than, <laughs> than with this on. And uh, you pay 80 bucks for the pleasure of losing pretty much 100% of your signal. So there you go. Make your, make your own choice. OK. So I think the point that we're trying to make here with, with, is that the testing that we're doing can discriminate between a good device and a bad device. It's, it's you know, really up to carriers and device manufacturers to decide what's good and what's bad. But we can tell the difference in performance between a very modest change in the device. The thing that I want you to understand is that all of the device manufacturers um, that are on the market today are intensely testing their product in many, many ways. And you cannot believe the level of extremes that they'll go to in order to test and test their devices. Anytime they make a change to any of the components on the device, even if they make changes to their firmware, they're doing substantial regression testing in order to verify that the changes that they're making are not gonna have a, 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 a negative effect on the way that that, that phone is gonna operate in the hands of a consumer. Okay. But obviously it's not all accessory makers are doing extensive uh, testing. I think you have to be careful um, if you're buying an accessory that isn't endorsed by the manufacturer.